To Indonesia now, and rescuers have recovered nine more bodies from Mount Marapi, raising the death toll from Sunday's volcano eruption to 22. One more hiker remains missing. Officials say the bodies will be brought down the volcano over several days. Now, rescuers have been facing challenging conditions in their days-long search for survivors. Marapi was uh, erupting as of midday local time. Local reports say that rainfall and volcanic smoke was still blocking the view of the volcano. Satu, kendala cuaca. Kedua, kendala medan yang uh, masih adanya gerusan angin yang membawa uh, erupsi panas itu. Jadi kita tidak mengambil dengan mudah jenazah ini atau untuk dievakuasi pada saat ini. For more, Chatni Bhavani joins us live from Jakarta. Chatni, what more do we know about the rescue operation? Well, of the 22 hikers who have died, 13 have been transported to a hospital, while nine others are still undergoing the evacuation process. One more hiker is still missing, and a spokesman for the National Search and Rescue Agency told media that search efforts for the missing hiker will continue on Wednesday. Now, Marapi has been at the second level of what's a four-tier alert system since 2011. So does this eruption change anything? You know, for example, will there be more restrictions put in place? Well, Jill, where, Mar where Marapi and its Level 2 alert are concerned, the Centre for Vol Volcanology and Geological Disaster Mitigation said that the nature of Mount Marapi's eruption is difficult to detect, both visually and seismically. And this has been the reason that it has been uh, on a Level 2 status since 2011. Even one month before the eruption occurred, the crater of Marapi did not have any activity. So in terms of preventa preventative measures, uh, the center recommended that activities be limited to three kilometers away from the crater's mouth because of potential lava. Now, according to the center, visually, there were no signs of eruption and seismically, there was about one earthquake per month. But historically, eruptions have always occurred in there. So the status was placed at level two as the center did not know what date or month or where, when essentially an eruption could occur. Now, the technical recommendation from the center is that people can climb it, but they must keep their distance. Now, due to eruptions in January and February this year, the Marapi route was only open to climbers this July. Mm, all right. I will leave it there for now. Chani Babani reporting live to us from Jakarta.